This is Lakeview Harbor. They are a New Orleans tradition, and we are photographing their entire new menu, which I'm very excited about. <music> There's something just really cool about photographing food, you know? We, if it looks good and it tastes good, it becomes memorable. And then where you ate that deliciousness is where you want to go back to over and over. Never photographed food before in your life. What I'd like you to do is this. Your home. Grab one light source. You can use the window if you want. Use something to reflect a little light. You can use one strobe. Whatever, whatever you want to do. I want you to play. And I want you to go get something simple. Don't overdo it. Remember, hashtag simple, clean, beautiful. Get a bottle of wine and a plate of something or just a bottle of wine and a glass. Pay attention to all of your glare you're getting from light sources all around you. Pay attention to your shadow areas, what areas are too dark, which, what areas are perfect, and depending on the kind of product in front of you, your main light and highlights will change as far as where you're putting it. If you didn't see that video on shadows I did not that long ago, now is a very good time to go rewatch that because you'll need that, that knowledge when you're photographing products and food. I love food, man. I love food that speaks to me, it dances on the plate. When the chef designs the plate, he's not just plopping food down and saying here, he's building that plate how he wants you to look at it. Every plate has a face. It's true. There's always a way it is built up high, low, wide, short. Whatever they do, they paint with food. That's a good way to put it. They really do. How they drizzle things, how the sauce is glazed, where your eyes go is so very important. The way I've been photographing food, from the chef to the plate to me, where I'm set up, I'll ask him to maybe redo something. Um, a lot of things that I will give lift to. There's always ways that you look at food that you want to see the prettiest sides of things. Like if you have asparagus, you want to see the flowery end. You don't want to see the sticks, the butts on the back. I call them the hard butts. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many cool little things about food. Uh, I'm going to put two links below actually to two food YouTubers that I really I do follow and they're both really good and they've actually have collabed together So I know they're definitely cool with each other. One's a guy one's a girl. So seeing that opposite viewpoint from man to woman um, is really cool to see and We both learn from each other, you know guys need to get in touch with their feminine side So things are a lot more sensitive and more eye appealing and things become more sexy when you understand how to make things sexy. <laughs> uh, the girls who already have that, you know, I can't tell you how many girl photographer friends of mine that, you know, they tell me, oh my God, if I just had your knowledge, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if I had your, you know, your view of how you can see things, and it's a happy marriage, you know? That's what I love about photography so much. And food photography is no different, okay? So go get one piece of food at your kitchen, at your house, wherever you want to do this, okay? 
one light source, two, I don't care what you do, but I want to see what you do at your house. So go over to the Instagram page, which is Focus with GK, and DM me, hit me up, attach an image. I want to see what you're doing, and the phone just doesn't stop over here, y'all. If I can help you in any way, if I can be inspired by you, most importantly, I like being inspired by you. All of you subscribers, man, y'all do some good stuff. I, I like seeing your eye on how you view life from photographing birds to capturing motorcycles and awesome cars, Rob. Man, there's just a lot of you guys. Henderson, you got some really cool views of where you live depending on the time of day. You're smart. You know the times of day to go at the location you want to go to. Very smart, dude. Proud of you. I just dig it. I love this interaction. So, hit me up on the DMs, literally. Hit the subscribe if you haven't. Tell other people about this channel because we cool over here, man. We like to keep it positive and motivational and most importantly, if you don't come with me to the top of the mountain, you won't see the same view. So let's do this thing together, all right? It's all good in my hood. I need to go. That's like my new tagline, I need to go. I do need to go, for real. I have a client coming in here in about 35 minutes. But listen, stay focused on your dreams. If you've been around here for a while, you know what that means. And remember, food is sexy. So photograph it correctly. Peace.